What's cranking guys and welcome back to another episode. I am officially back from Minocqua. I know the Minocqua series is going on right now, so it's probably gonna be like in the mix of all of it. But me and Trevor, we're gonna go smack a lake that we just fished at tournament on. Again, I'm not sure if that video is out yet or not, but we're gonna go out there. We're gonna be fishing in the afternoon. So right now it's like two o'clock. By the time we get there, it's gonna be like three, 3.30 and then we're gonna fish till about 10 at night. So this is a lake that me and Trevor are like honestly obsessed with. We've always had, it's almost like euphoric fishing it because We've had some great luck in the afternoon. We get to our set spots and like fishing deep on that lake, it's just like, it does so well for us. Like the baits that we're throwing, we're always throwing like wackies, neds, top water towards night. It's just like, if the fishing's on there, it is just like unreal and it's like all biggins. Like even if you catch like a 13, 14 inch bass, it'll end up weighing like two, two and a half pounds because they're just like so plush, so healthy. So Trevor's gonna be here in about two, two, three minutes and then we are going to get the boat strapped up behind me and then we're gonna drive to the lake and hopefully Make a good video for you guys today. So, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of McGrath Fishing. Today's video is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. Follow the Action is an outdoor apparel company that covers you from fishing to hunting. They got saltwater, freshwater, and obviously hunting. All their designs are hand drawn, custom designs. Guys, there's nothing else like in any of the stores besides that FTA's in. FTA's on Amazon, Walmart. You guys can save so much more money by ordering from FollowTheAction.com. If you want to save an additional 20% off, you can use code McGrathFish to save 20% on your entire order. That's all I got for right now. Trevor's pulling in, and I will see you guys. Oh, here we go, Trevor. Twenty nine and a half inch. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are out. The boat is launched. I got Trevor behind the wheel right now. So we're gonna start off pretty much like today's mission would be pretty much large mouth, small mouth. And I actually might throw like some crankbaits and spinnerbaits, try for some pike because this is a really good pike lake too. There's a lot of pike on this lake. So a lot of people hate on them, but I think they're pretty fun to catch. So it's four o'clock and we're pretty much gonna be out here till probably 10 at night, so we got a solid six hours of fish. We wanted to fish the afternoon. We could have launched earlier today, but I had to like feed my dogs, do some shit. I woke up super late, and again, I just couldn't really leave because my dogs still needed to be fed. No one was really home to do anything, so we waited till the afternoon, and now we're gonna be going straight afternoon sesh. Me and Trevor, T-Dog Outdoors. I'll leave uh, Trevor's Instagram down below in the description, but until then, let's go catch some fish. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be starting off with a jig and a egg stone lure, true center worm. This is a green pumpkin with purple flake. Uh, this is a technique that I found works last year using a Ned Rig jig head and wacky rigging it just to get it down a little bit quicker when we're fishing deeper. Trevor's starting out with a Ned Rig. Yeah? I can't even tell. I think so, yeah. Trevor, on with the first of the day? You're definitely on. Yeah, no. Oh, that's a nice one, a little bit. Ned or no? Oh, sure. Can you pro style it? Yeah, let's see. That's. Jeez, dude, tell me it's a f***ing better one, bud. <laughs> bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Coming up. Bring it to me. Perfect. Just like that. I was so confused. How did you not know you had that? He was swimming in towards me, I didn't realize. Oh, right, guys, first of the day is a three, three and a half pounder. We have a nice chunk right here on XO Nud. It's insane. 3.5. Oh, uh, 3.50. Right. So three and a half pounder. I'd toss that one in the live well, bud. Holy shit, guys, look at that. What a start, though. Yes. What the follow the action hog hunter on, too. Yeah. All right, guys, spot number two. We're literally in like a uh, party co. There's literally pleasure boaters everywhere. I don't even see any fishing boats, do you? No, it says that guy gets that bank over there. Spot number two. Trevor's starting off with a Ned. I am, right? Yep. And I am starting out with a wacky worm. The True Center Worm by XL Lures. If you guys want to get anything, use Tommy or use code Tommy for 20% off. Yeah? Yeah, I got one. Oh my. Oh, this one nice, right? Yeah? yeah cool. Alright, well, hopefully my rod is going. He's not. I mean, I don't know. Trevor's on, guys. The Ned? Yeah. Unless there's like a pike the way he's shaking his head. I don't think that's too fast, dude. Yo, oh, that's you. I'm like, what the? F I was losing my drag a little bit. All right, guys, we're hooked on. No idea what we got. I think it's a pike. 
the way he's dipping his head. See, I can't feel a head oh, shake. It's a bit, it's a nice, like, he just broke me off. Do you see him? Yeah. Uh, probably 32, 33. It was decent. It wasn't like huge, but it was a good one. Yeah. He must have bit the line. Yeah, that one little turn. Did you see him turn to the, he turned that way? Like right when he turned, I like saw your line go loose. If you need a hook, I got one. Uh, yeah, I think I, can I possibly borrow one? Yeah, go, ow. <laughs> I think at least. That's what he said. Who knows if he was bullshit. Oh, here we go, Trevor. Got him. Guys, first fish of the day. Feels decent, dog. Sounds decent. Feels decent. My drag's pretty tight, too. I better not lose this. I'm, it'll ruin my day. Yo, that head shake was huge, bro. Yeah. I see him down there. It's a pike. Get him. Get him. It's a decent one, too, dude. Oh, my God. Go. Dude, that's a pretty decent one. All right, I gotta get that measuring. Something in my rod, Tommy. Something in my rod. What? It was dipping. You're on. Take it. I am. Yeah, your drag was really loose, though. So. Here. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Trevor just lost a pike. This is probably, I guess, 29. Look at the glove box for the measuring thing, please. That was very unexpected. I thought that was a bass. It was a huge head shake. Oh, you found it too. 20, 29, 29 and a half. half. Yeah. All right, guys, 29, 29 and a half inch. We're gonna get a sick underwater release. I'm gonna get this guy in. Phone real quick. Oh, never mind. You don't wanna be on Insta. All right, guys, this is the third spot. It's kind of noisy over here. There's a lot of boat traffic. We're actually in a spot where it's full of largemouth and a ton of piker over here. So I think Trevor's actually going to tie on a white spinner bait. We've had a lot of luck on that. We're going to be going for pike and largemouth now in this spot. Well, kind of like in the beginning of the day, I said we were going to start off anyways with pike and largemouth. And I got lucky and caught my first pike on a net actually going for bass. But it works out. They hit neds actually pretty frequently. So I don't think it's that big. Oh, it's a pike. No. Or... Nah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, dog. I honestly didn't mean to do that. First pike in the spot. So we were going to go for these and bass. And obviously the pike are coming out to play today. So this would have been the third pike of the day. But it is the second. Trevor lost a pretty decent one. But now he's throwing for pike. So I think we're going to have a lot of luck here. One last look at the tiny pike before it goes in. It's got a cool pattern, though. Hey, look at that bite by its tail. Or what is that? Oh, damn. I didn't even see that. Check it out. I got slapped. All right, it's 6.14 at 6.20. Let's uh, go to the point. All right, guys, it is seven. No, it is 6.45. So, so far the moral of the story is we've had some bites. Trevor lost a nice pike, caught a nice bass. I caught a 29 and a half inch pike. And we've had like little bites here and there, but nothing like too like, not like a stagnant pattern yet. Not, we haven't really found it yet. So we're actually gonna go back to the first spot we started at. It's a really good spot, and plus we can move along the shoreline to find fish. I'm hoping we can turn this day around. It's not like a complete waste coming out here. I would just definitely like a few more bass. I definitely wanna catch at least one nice bass before we leave, and then that would kind of complete it for me. So hopefully we can get it done, find it, and the day's not over yet. We probably have a solid three, three and a half hours out here, so not too bad. Trevor, what do you think? Um, I mean, it's been a little slow to start, to be honest. Our expectations were high coming in here. Start off the day with a three and a half pounder. Then me and Tommy both, I lost a nice pike and Tommy got one. So that was a good sign. Now we're just helping get on some bass. I think as it gets a little later, the bite will pick up. We'll see where it goes. You guys heard it. I'm gonna throw you back in the chest and get to the spot. That's what I was like, oh, I got one. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big? Those runs sound like a pike. I would guess. I'm gonna put my hundred dollars right now on the pike line. Oh, dude, that one's kind of big. Keep your rod tip up. There you go. There you go. All right, when it gets close, put your rod tip above my head. I don't want to hit your hook. That's a decent one, bud. There we go. Guys, look at this. We cannot escape these pike. I'm gonna guess that one. I'm gonna say 
one twenty nine thirty. Trevor, pull this. Uh, Jesus Christ, you've been on a musky. <laughs> twenty nine. I like twenty twenty nine and a quarter. <laughs> one ounce. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna give this fish to Trevor. But another solid northern. 29 and a quarter, so. Right. I just wanna let him go because I Oh my you <laughs> you dude. Playing dead. I got that on camera. Oh my <laughs> god, I just got soaked. <laughs> like look at that. So, I didn't think it was gonna kick off like that at all, honestly. All right, guys. So we run into this problem at least a couple times a year on this lake that we're fishing. Literally, we're throwing in all these bass spots, throwing bass baits, and the pike just hit it. So that is the third pike of the day, the second 29 of the day. Got him beat by a quarter inch, but <laughs> but Trevor did have a really nice one on. Like I said, he couldn't have done anything about uh, his first one. Like there was nothing you could have done on that one. Three pike, one bass, one three and a half pound one. I'm not gonna complain too much. It'd be nice if I could get one or two bass to end this day. We do still have a while out here, but if I could just get a few, it'd definitely be make the trip worth it. Oh, did you see that, Trevor? You saw that? Dude, what was that? Dude, that was nuts. Oh, I got him. It's a smallmouth. I was going to say it looked brown. Can I send a quick pick real quick? Sure. Not huge, but it's a small and I like small eyes. Come over here. Dude, I literally saw that. Okay, guys, so Trevor's releasing the smallmouth, but I saw that fish literally come up for mine. I'm like, what was that? It literally looked brown. And then Trevor hit it on a whopper popper. What? Dude, what's the smallmouth doing in four feet of water? All right, guys, we're gonna start flipping docks. The bite has definitely been slow for the bass. We caught that one three and a half pounder. Uh, Trevor lost the bass, and then Trevor just caught a topwater smallmouth. But we're gonna see if we can get a few more bass to kind of end the night. It is eight o'clock now. We're gonna finish off by when we come in, there's like a long channel we go in. We're gonna frog that whole channel. <laughs> guys i just had a blow up with my frog definitely a bass let it take it down for a second then i set it but it was off like right away not a bad day so far we're gonna keep frogging out here at yeah, sunset we're gonna keep frogging out here and then move into like a channel the frog to, before we go in <gasps> i just soaked myself i just soaked myself by squeezing the frog all right guys the last and final spot, we're gonna frog these weeds up here through this whole channel and call it a day. Getting one, maybe two more, would definitely top off the day. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. We ended up with a 29 and a half inch pike, 29 and a quarter, a small like fingerling pike that I caught. Trevor had a three and a half pound bass and also a small mouth. So definitely a lot less productive today. I mean, the last time we fished this tournament, we ended up with like 12 to 14 fish in a, like I think seven hours or whatever it was and like got like a 13 pound bag. So definitely not like what this lake could be. There was a lot of potential, but we had a lot of missed opportunities as well, but the bass bite was definitely not on. Like pretty much all of my bass spots just was like loaded with pike. So we rolled with the punches, tried getting more. Again, we were throwing a lot of top water, had a few blow ups. And those are the missed opportunities that we had. So not a bad day. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button in two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at four o'clock PM. We're gonna go get some food and we're out. Mm -hmm.